Welcome students. In this topic, let us look at the transformation of axis. We have already seen the basics of Cartesian coordinate system. That is, if you have a coordinate system containing x-axis and y-axis, every point in this plane can be represented by a unique ordered pair. Now, the thing that we are going to learn in this topic is how the coordinates of a point change as we change the coordinate system. For example, if you have an original coordinate system consisting of x-axis and y-axis. Now, without changing the direction of x-axis and y-axis, let me shift the coordinate system to a point h, k. Now, let this be the new coordinate system. So, if you take a point P, with respect to old coordinate system, this point P has some coordinates. With respect to the new coordinate system, the same point P will have some other coordinates, right? Now, what we are going to study is, how are the old coordinates related to new coordinates? I hope this is clear. Next, let us look at the rotation of axis. This is called shifting of origin. We don't change the direction of x-axis and y-axis, we just shift the origin to some other point. This results in change in the coordinates of the point. Similarly, the next transformation that we are going to look at is a rotation of axis. This time, we don't change the origin of the coordinate system, we just rotate the axis through some angle theta. With this operation also, you can see that the coordinates of the point change. Because by definition, what are the coordinates of the point? The coordinates of the point are the distances from the coordinate axis measured in the direction of coordinate axis, right? So if you take the old coordinates as small x comma small y, the old coordinates are nothing but this distance and this distance. This distance is small x this distance is small y. Now as the axis are rotated through an angle theta, now what is the new x coordinate and new y coordinate? Now the distances have to be measured in this direction and this direction. So if you measure the distances, so this will be the new x coordinate, this will be the new y coordinate. As you can very clearly see, the numbers are changing. Here also, the old coordinates are this distance and this distance. And the new coordinates are this distance and this distance. Obviously, the new coordinates depend on old coordinates. Here also the new coordinates depend on old coordinates. But what we are going to see in this topic is the exact relation between the old coordinates and the new coordinates. So there are two types of transformations that we are going to look at. One is shifting of origin. That is, without changing the direction of x-axis and y-axis, we just take the origin to some other point. That is called shifting of origin. The second type of transformation that we are going to look at is rotation of axis. So what happens when you shift the origin? What happens when you rotate the or rotate the axis? Now let us try to understand these two operations one by one. 